Hey guys, I'm Patty Salad with fitnessbypatty.com and in today's video I'm going to share with you five really great exercises to work your core without doing crunches. Now crunches are a thing of the past and a lot of times I've noticed with my clients they come in complaining that old crunches, they really start to hurt the neck and hurt the back. So what we want to do is to keep you safe by doing these five great exercises. The first one is a plank. Let me show you how to get into it. Go ahead and start on your mat with your elbows down, forearms on the ground, knees on the ground too. What I'm looking for here is a nice long spine and pulling your belly in. So we don't want too much of a hunch. We want not too much of a dip in the back either. So we're right in between. So you're drawing your navel to your spine, tucking the tailbone tight. All right, so from here, this is your modified plank. If you can hold this for a minute or two, this is great. If you wanna go for a deeper plank, a little more advanced, go ahead and lift the knees off the ground. Now the gaze is straight ahead to your mat. So we're not cranking the head back. We want a nice neutral cervical spine. You're looking right between the hands. Here we can squeeze your legs tight, squeeze the bum tight, making sure the belly button stays in nice and strong and hold this for one to two minutes. Make sure you're breathing. All right, and then the next exercise is a scissor kick. So we're gonna lay on your back. Go ahead and take your arms under the, under the spine, under the hips. Lift your shoulders and your head off the ground. The legs are also gonna be at a hover. From here, we're gonna look straight up and then start to scissor kick the legs back and forth. So if you're able to do this for 30 seconds, great. If you're not feeling it by then, bump it up to one minute or 90 seconds. Here, another thing too you wanna watch out for is too much straining of the neck. So looking to the ceiling, lifting the shoulder blades and squeezing your back into the floor. All right, perfect. And the next one's called V-ups. So you can also do this as a high-low boat. We'll get back onto your mat. From here, we're starting in a hover, arms down by your sides. And if you need more assistance, go ahead and place the hands down by your sides. The V-up starts like this. Hands back, toes up, and repeat. To make this a little easier, you can pull the knees into your chest and release, slowing down on the way to the mat. Exhale to the top, inhale to the bottom. So I would try those for 15 to 20 repetitions. And then the next one's a reverse crunch. So again, laying on your back, go ahead and pull your knees into your chest and hands down by your sides. We're gonna rock your hips up and back, lift and back down nice and slow. If you need to extend the legs, it makes it a little easier. Rock up and back and down. Exhale to the top, and inhale to the bottom. Here over, I would perform 15 to 20 repetitions. If you're able to do 30, go for gold. All right, and then the last one, of course, is gonna be a Russian twist. So I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see. Couple variations here, we're sitting on the bum, heels are down, toes are up, you're gonna lean back into a reclined position. Hands together, you're just gonna twist the torso from left to right. Exhale, inhale. Here, I would, re I would try to perform one minute of the Russian twist. If you're able to do more, go ahead and lift the legs up, keep your spine nice and straight, leaning back, looking out, side to side. This really helps to get the obliques as well. Woo! And you didn't have to do one single crunch. All right, so give that a shot, check it out. Join fitnessbypatty.com. The free newsletter is waiting for you. There's a lot of great tips and information there. And I'll see you next time.